All right, everyone, let's continue on here with our road to the show. Congratulations, the Braves AAA have finished the season at 93-51 and 51 and won their division. You will be taking on the Indians in the division series. All right. Yes. All right, let's go. Playoffs time. We'll simulate... Wait, let me make sure there, not baseball fans. Before Tuesday's action gets kicked off, let's recap what went down around the league on Monday. Starting off in the National League East, the Philadelphia Phillies were in the ATL to match up against the Braves. And it was the Phillies who came out on top. Final score was 6 to 2. Ronnie Cedeno was a major force at the plate as he drove in four. Cole Hamels pitched well and earned his 14th victory on the year. He is currently in the top 5 in the NL in wins. Heading into today, the Braves are in second place in the NL East, ten and a half back. The Mets took on the Marlins in South Florida, and it was the Marlins who emerged in extra innings with the win. The final score was 3-2. to two. Jared Saltuamakia turned in a nice performance offensively with three base hits. He also extended his hitting streak to a modest eight straight. As of today, the Marlins sit in fourth place in the National League East division. They're 15 games back. The Mets are at the bottom of the division. They're 18 and a half games out of first. The Washington Nationals took on the LA Dodgers in the City of Angels, and the Dodgers collected the W, the final four to three. Zach Granke threw the ball well and picked up his 13th win of the year. Looking at the standings, the Dodgers are in second place in the NL West, but they currently lead the NL wildcard race. The Nationals are in first place in the NL East. They are more than 10 games ahead of second place. The Milwaukee Brewers were visiting the Cubbies at Wrigley Field in Chicago. The Cubs came away with the win. The final was 6-3. Justin Ruggiano showed off his power, blasting two home runs and picking up three RBIs in the process. Edwin Jackson threw well enough to earn his ninth W of the year. Right now, the Cubs are in last place in the NL Central. They're 19 and a half games out of first. The Brewers are My third God. in the division. They're two games back. The Pittsburgh Holy Pirates crap. visited the Redbirds in the Gateway City, and Pittsburgh was victorious in this one. The final score was 9-6. to six. Miguel Giles was a major force at the plate with six RBIs. Jared Hughes got the win out of the pen, his sixth so far this year. At the moment, the Cardinals sit in first place in the National League Central Division, one game ahead of second. The Pirates are fourth in the division, 12 games behind first place. The Giants went up against the Rockies in the Golden Island Thong. Icing, and it was the Rockies who came out on top. The final was the 3 to nothing. Brett Anderson pitched very well on the way to the victory on the mound, twirling eight shutout innings before turning it over to the bullpen to close it out. As of today, the Rockies are in last place in the NL West. They're 15 and a half games out of first. The Giants are third in the division, nine and a half games behind first. The Diamondbacks did battle with the Pods at Petco Park, and the Padres came away with the win. The score was 4-1. to one. Mac Gore held the opposition in check, allowing only one earned run over eight strong innings, <laughs> earning the win. Look at that. Heading into today, Percent the Padres fastball. sit in fourth place in the National League West, 11 and a half games out of first. The Diamondbacks are atop the division. They have a small half-game advantage. The Red Sox were in St. Pete to take on the Tampa Bay Rays, and it was the Rays who came out on top. Final score was 4-2. to two. All right, let's go. Oh, nice. We won the International League Division Series, and we'll be taking on the Red Wings. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. Time I really want to pitch really well. Let's do the Madison Bumgarner. Let's go. Even though he screwed up my last franchise game, which really ticks me off. As you everyone knows, if you watch my franchise games, how mad I get. But I tend not to get as mad at this because I'm pretty decent at pitching. I just horrible at hitting. Rochester Red Wings. Ooh.
All right, let's go. <clears throat> All right, I need to pitch well here. Darn it, that was a horrible frickin' pitch. Yes. And let's make this strike out right here. Oh. Darn it. Now here it comes. Wing and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep. Oh my god. Wow, well, that was a bad start. Darn it. Come on. Oh man, come on. Oh, come on. I freaking pressed square before I even did it. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, I can't believe he held up. Got to be careful here with a run hit already. You don't want to let one get away from you and lose the possibility. There we go. Swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. James Newham will get his first cuts here with two gone now and a runner at first. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Here's the 1-0. Oh, oh one come on. There we go. Well, hopefully my guys can get at least get a hit or a run in. Uh. 
this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seat. The next three, two. Now the fastball is there we go. As he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Barry Gilbert will be the batter. Now the first pitch. The fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Here it comes. Boy, good lateral movement to that screwball, and it's a ball and a strike. And now a pitch on the way. Oh, he ties him up with a fastball inside, one and two. Doing a good job right there of tying him up inside. Got in on his hands that time before he could get that barrel through the zone. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Yeah, and that's not the pitch you want to throw on two and two. That was so high, he didn't even have to think about swing that. Now a ball. Oh my God. Now a dive, but he can't get there, and this is going to be trouble out there in left center. Around second, he'll try for third. The tag. Oh, we got him. Nice. on the way and the screwball is in there so he falls into a quick hole 0 and 2 and I know it's your first half bat of the ball game and you want to work the count a little bit those were two pretty good pitches to have a rip out there we go but the play has been made for the third out inning over one hits all they get we'll go to the bottom half uh, uh, come on the Red Wings lead it one to nothing Kenny Lambert Step in here to start their half of the third with the top of the order to follow. Now a fastball to start the third. That misses. It's ball one. The pitch. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. Darn it. He's in there safely. He's got a double. Sergio Salinas will step in now. He's ready. Now the pitch. Left finger pitch is in there for strike one. He's ready now. The pitch. Now a high bouncer toward the hole. And a good throw. There we go. One gun. Jose Cortez will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. He's set. Now the pitch. Big swing there as it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. Lucy is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Chris Parmalee will stand in. A base hit his first time around. Inside oh, the man. Goal. Come on. From the belt. Kicks and deals. And 2-0 and oh now as this misses below the knees. Yeah, He's got an open base here. Looks like he's going to use it. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Here's the 2 1 pitch. And a bouncing ball foul. That's the 2 2 pitch. Here's a fly ball now lifted in the air out to right. Ooh, that was close. Why'd I go down all that? On a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Oh, come on. Chris Colabello will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. And he looks at the screwball that's over for strike one. And the pitch. Certainly no offer. It's that one. It's one and two. On 0 and 2, if that's a curveball, a, a changeup, a sinker, then maybe you get a guy to chase. There we go. It's easier to lay off a pitch down there when it's a straight bounce. James Newham will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. And he gets ahead with a screwball that's in there for strike.
strike one. Now the pitch. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. Now the pitch. And that is nice. On and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Chris Herman will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Ah. Going to get into center field. It's a two out hit. Barry Gilbert will try things again. He was thrown out trying to stretch two into three his first time around. And he looks at the screwball that's over for strike one. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. Nice. There we go. Setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So no runs here on a base hit. Nice. We tied it up. Good. Doug Vernier will step in now to lead off the inning as his guys look to maybe break the rut they've been stuck in. Yeah, and after that first inning, it's been all zero since. And once he kind of got settled into that groove, he's been a difficult nut to crack. Here's a ball swung on and lofted in the air out toward right center. And the leadoff man gone now to start the fifth. Kenny Lambert will stand in here. He doubled his first time around. And a fastball is off the plate away. It's ball one. Now here it comes. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Oh, he's just cruising out there now. I'll tell you, this may turn into a game of first team to two wins. In there, one and two now. Here it comes. Now this is swung on, and here's another fly ball out to right field. Nice. He's going to make the play over toward his right, and there are two away now. Sergio... Salinas will stand in. He's one for two so far. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Pitch on the way. Right on that. God that dang it. Wraps it into center field, a base hit. Jose Cortez will step in now. Bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Come set, now the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Yeah, a couple of mid-90s fastballs, and he hasn't been close on either one of them. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Another 0-2 coming. Oh, come on. There we go. Interrupt, but that's the third strike and the third out. Side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Chris Parmalee will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. And the pitch. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Now the one and one pitch. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Now here's the pitch. Uh. Three and one now. Well, I think it's time to attack now because these guys haven't been in too many good hitters' counts. Darn it! And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. We see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Now here's the first pitch. Chris Colabello is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1 from the stretch. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised uh. a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. Fouled straight back. Comes on two and two. And now this ball's lifted.
deflected in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Got him. Nice. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. James Newham will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. And here's a fastball called for strike one. That pitch count is 88 now, but to me, he looks good to go. Now this is out in front. Maybe tough to get to. Oh. Darn it. Chris Herman will stand in. Strikeout victim his first time and then a base hit last time around. In tight there as he's got a turn out of the way of that one. Nothing wrong with that. As much as it pains me to say, pitchers have the right to work inside. First and second now, one man out. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Here comes a 1-2. Here's a ground ball to first. One there. Relay throw, but it'll be too uh. well safe to first. Barry Gilbert will step in now and see what he can do with two on and two out here in the sixth. Fastball in there for a called strike. Yeah, even with two on and two away, this is not a guy that's going to back down out there. He comes right after him with a fastball, and he gets ahead. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right hand. And that'll move the count to one and two now. Here's the one, two. Screw ball, but he lays off, and now the count evens at two and two. He's set now to pitch. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't. Ah, uh, yes. There we go. Woo. Okay, now bad situations here. Ah, uh, come on. We need another run. Nice. Oh, come on. To this point, is this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far? That command really? He hits up on freaking two good pitches? And now, pitch on the way. And he might have another one as this is hit high and deep out to left. And it'll stay in the park. Oh, come on. Now watch, we're gonna lose. Yep, we lost. Not my fault, you idiot. You freaking put in someone who loses the game. I would have got us out of it, but no, you gotta take me out. Wow. Seriously, they just had to take me out, of course. Anybody's award, but what the heck? Let's go ahead and give it to this guy. He just wow. 
freaking morons, dude. He got a double, but I've been getting out of bad situations. Of course, they just had to put in one of the bad relief pitchers. Freaking idiot manager.